The donut is a possible compass for human prosperity. Leave no one in the hole, falling short on the essentials of life. Don't overshoot Earth's means. Don't overshoot the planetary boundaries on which we all depend. We want to thrive in the green, safe and just space for humanity in between, which would be a regenerative and distributive economy. If that's the goal, we're very far from that right now, as all the red, the social shortfall in the middle globally, and the ecological overshoot globally. Let's put these on a scatter plot of over 50 countries. The place we all want to be is the sweet spot, meeting the needs of all people in the top left-hand corner within the means of the planet. You can immediately see the scatter of countries across this area. We need transformation within each nation and between nations. The history of GDP growth has broadly taken countries in this direction, first moving towards the donut, but then straight past it. And this is the trajectory that we need to turn around. This has not been done before. Now, what I think is in common across all these very different clusters of countries is that the dynamic that needs to be put in place is twofold, from a degenerative industrial form to regenerative, and from divisive in economic systems to distributive ones. And so we started working with change makers in those places who said, I want to start doing this. Let's just go where the energy is and start working with them. And so now I'm going to show you the tool that we've created, particularly around cities and regions, to enable places that say, I want to bring my city, my district into the donut. What would we do? So let's dive in. Starting with the most familiar quadrant, which is what most places focus on first. Most political elections are held around these. How can all the people of our city thrive? Then let's add the other local aspiration, which is how can our city or district be as generous as the wildland next door? This is inspired by mimicry thinking from Janine Benyus. Janine would say, let's go to the wildland next door. Take us to the green, most healthy local ecosystem of this place where it's as close as we can say here, this is nature. This is our local nature. Now let's literally take a hectare of the land and measure nature's generosity in this place. How much carbon is she sequestering on this hectare? How much groundwater does she store after a storm? How much biodiversity is housed here? How much is nature cooling the air on a hot day from the treetops to the forest floor? So how can we take nature's metrics from the wildland next door and say with a wonderful ambition, what would it mean for our city or our town or district to aim to be as generous as nature? How can our city respect the health of the whole planet? Now we're talking planetary boundaries. Now we're talking our global consumption of clothing, food, consumer goods, electronics, construction materials that we know have come through global supply chains and the stream of waste that goes out. This is what's generating all of that red overshoot on the national donuts, but also holding with that view of the global supply chains to which we're connected, how do we respect the well-being of people worldwide who made our clothes, who packed our food, who assembled our phones, people who are impacted by the impacts of climate change today because of our lifestyles. And then the rising prospect of people on the move, continents on the move, because the place where they live is no longer habitable due to climate change. How will they be received as migrants, as refugees? What will be the culture? What will be the policy? So these are the four lenses of what it means for a city to say, okay, we're aiming for the donut. Let me note, it's complex. Yes, it is complex. But of course, if we ignore any one of these issues, it doesn't go away. It just fails to be managed. And if it fails to be managed, it is very likely to not go well. So we publish this as a tool and it's now being used by over 70 local governments, districts, states, regions around the world. 70 governments that have got in touch with us and told us we want to use this tool or we are using this tool where we are. So I also want to be very clear, we're not claiming that people encounter the donut and then get ambition and then get into action. It accompanies them on a journey they already wanted to make. And I'll just finish here by saying all these tools and all the other tools that we create are available on our platform. I have focused here very much on tools for cities. I just want to say right up front, and I'm very happy to talk about, we've created a very different set of tools for businesses because we have a very different attitude towards business and it's important to avoid greenwash. We've created different tools for community organizations. We're creating different tools for teachers. So according to who is coming, we create different sets of tools. But again, they intend to be a social technology, engaging people to have a different holistic picture, accessible, but that are leading to action and that ultimately will be accountable. So I'll stop there and look forward to turning this into a conversation. Thank you.